I was just having some random thoughts this morning while I was sitting on the toilet. Just some random conspiracy theory type of shit popped into my head. What if Call of Duty is doing double XP so often because somehow the experience is tied to the game hours logged? Not the game hours logged that you're seeing that shows you your actual in-game time that you've spent, but the game hours that are getting logged by the company that are getting shown by the to the investors so every time there's double xp it's doubling up the amount of game hours that are being logged during the that time frame as well as increasing the player base during that time frame so it's all just a big ploy that would be fucking hilarious that would be really insidious but hey i wouldn't put it past them would you I also heard reports last year during Modern Warfare of people not receiving double XP during a double XP weekend and that it was actually just the double, the weapon XP being cut in half and then doubled so it was basically normal. I don't know if y'all ever heard about that, just google it, type in double XP weekend, half XP, it's a bunch of results will come up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run that in part of the video in the background so you can see there's multiple reports of it from many different people. I don't know if they went in there and then fixed it and they claimed that it was just an error or what. But I think that XP is the thing that they use basically to hang over our heads as a reason to come back to the game. So that's the reason why the weapon XP is so little. And if you notice, you get we've gotten battle pass double XP and we've gotten regular double XP often recently. And that's to get people, a lot of the people who are really serious and just want to prestige and rank up, just to show that off, those people are going to get on for that. But for the people, for the average person even, they want double weapon XP. That's what really people care about in the first place. But I just wanted to put a random thought out there just to make people think. I mean, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes and a lot of reasoning behind a lot of things that they did. They put the game on sale for a reason, because they want to push more units out by the fourth quarter, by the end of the fourth quarter. It's almost over. There's a reason double XP comes out at the end of the year, so people tell their friends, hey, get it, get on now, you can unlock all the weapons, you can rank up, we can play together, but you're going to need ninja, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, so get the game play this weekend everything's done for a reason just i mean just be logical here there's a reason like you probably won't see a nerf for the dmr for a while in warzone that's why i ranked that up i'm going to focus on the things that are actually going to bring me content out of the games rather than trying to chase camos because i've noticed while i'm going on a camo grind today that the matchmaking just makes it really annoying trying to get camos at the end of the day like when it's like the enemy of efficiency, but I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I just wanted to drop some random thoughts and it's probably not true to be honest. Like that would be really, really unethical of them if they were really reporting twice the time during double XP weekends and shit. That would be kind of funny though. And I wouldn't put it past them either, but everybody have a great day.